All An right. envoy of Vegas, yet you carry yourself for battle. If so, you cannot truly be of that city of cowards. All right. If you can, uh, if you think you're going to have any chance of taking over the dam, you're wrong. Maybe you're willing to listen to reason. What? Caesar giving orders beyond the grave? I doubt it. I'm here to kill you. The Legion advance ends here. Nice mask. Can't wait to take it for a trophy. All right. Maybe you're here to listen to reason. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. Speech is 50, bluff, 60. Let's see, speech. This battle is decided. That's why I'm here. Persist and learn what Graham learned at the dam in Boulder City. You could take the West. Holding it is another matter. Worth the gamble? Shit, which one do I pick? Which one do I pick? Uh... I'm gonna bluff with speech of 60. Persist and learn what Graham learned at the dam in Boulder City. You dare speak that name, comparing him to any man of Kaiser will only earn you a slow death. You think me some lesser man, some other legate. I am the first of the Legion, and this gate to the West shall be ours this day. NCR studied you as, you, as they did Graham. And the trap is already set. The battle is decided. Let's try speech again. Bluff him again. Huh. You believe your own words, even if I do not. Perhaps NCR has the strength of a cornered animal. It will not be enough to hold this place. They know nothing of my tactics or the strength of my forces. They will learn. All right, last bluff check. Your position... The position of your veterans using the dam intake towers as expected. We did take the towers easier than expected. I cannot believe even the Republic would overlook such an opening in their defenses. Yet we are at the throat of the Great Bear. Victory is at hand. Oh man, look at all these bluffs. Your success was way too easy, though, wasn't it? You think I reached you by chance? Grab did not smell the C4 until it entered until he entered Boulder. He only smelled victory. How could a lone opponent like me reach you so easily then? You play on my instincts. Get your intention in this. You have nothing to gain by telling me of this trap. Unless you seek to goad me into a retreat, leaving the battlefield and leaving my honor here to be trampled underfoot by Republic cowards. Uh, what's honor gain? What honor gain be had in defeating a potential superior foe with lies? Perhaps the treachery of your own ranks disgusts you as it disgusts me. Of course. And I guard myself from such acts of cowardice and jealousy. You claim that word of my coming has been given to the West so that I might die here. Even as I take the dam, telling me this does not benefit you at all. You gamble with your words, and your coin is lacking. Huh. If you return East and exact, and exact vengeance, it buys the West time and thins the Legion ranks. When your own must ally with the West in order to remove you, such treachery must be answered. You speak with conviction, and more importantly, with honor. And we secured a foothold on the dam, easily as you have said. Graham's overconfidence forever branded him with fire. I will not follow his trail of fire into the depths of the Grand Canyon. The Republic shall keep their old world gate this day. I shall return east. When I return, I shall have all the armies of the Legion with me. 
I will await that day, Legate Lannis. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Yes. Until the day when our armies meet again, Courier. I shall wait for you on the battlefield. Bastard ran fast, holy shit. It's locked from... Uh, how can you... How can a tent be locked from the other side? All right. Now what? Deal with the NCR General Oliver. All right. That was cool. Hey. Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you'd call down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. Hold that thought, General. I want to introduce you to some friends. And, um, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say... Can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. General Oliver, Hume Dam, <clears throat> General Oliver, Hugh Hoover Dam is yours. Leave at once. I suggest you leave before my boys open fire. The dam is won for me. You and the Legion have both lost this day. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. Are you sure that's wise? Retreat, or we wipe NCR off the face of the dam? I don't want more any more violence. There's been enough today. Leave on your feet, or leave wrapped in a flag. <laughs> Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear, and... How about I ask these robots to fuck you and the entire battalion with rocket barrage barrages? You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook or I'm not going anywhere. Because you're talking and not attacking. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting a fight when I came up here. And now that we're talking, I don't like the sound of things. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops? Can't do a worse job than the Republic, that's for sure. <sighs> Hell, can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day, and I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. 
I see. Yes, man. Please throw General Oliver off the dam. <laughs> That's a funny one. Insults? Tisk tisk. Is that, uh, is that all because I've got work to do? And the NCR words don't mean much around here. Fine. Come on, men. We're moving out. Completed. Deal with General. Return to Yes Man. You did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but... Well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality. To be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry. Everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters so they know what to do. Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be. Off making a few changes. And I... I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas' independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended, quickly. Chaos became uncertainty then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the man responsible for a truly free New Vegas. He ensured Mr. House's tyranny was broken and neither Caesar's Legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Tabitha and Rhonda went east through Caesar's land Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. Invigorated by his travels with the courier, Raul once more took up his guns in memory of his lost Rafaela. Soon after, the Mojave was filled with tales of the ghost vaquero who hunts down those who prey on the weak. Though the wasteland became anarchic after Hoover Dam, the boomer's display of power dissuaded fortune seekers from attempting to penetrate Nellis. Veronica put her moral sensibilities aside and supported the Brotherhood's new campaign of aggression as best she could. Yet, deep down, she understood that it meant their end would surely be soon to follow. Their leaders destroyed by the courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the Courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. In the years following the destruction of Cassidy Caravans, NCR used evidence of the plot to blackmail the Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. NCR enacted strict trade laws with little resistance, strengthening their supply lines and their position in the Mojave. Cass lived to see the courier bring down three armies and by her count, that was three more than she'd expected. She kept quiet about that, though. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. 
Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. The kings retained their control of Freeside, and while they continued to favor the needs of locals, they tolerated the citizens of the defeated NCR. Revitalized by Violetta's brain, Rex eventually learned to balance the memories of his old life with Violetta's experiences among the brutal fiends. His mind had difficulty adjusting, but Rex eventually found peace with his new, more vicious self. Shaped up by the courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Though NCR was withdrawing from the region, Boone remained in New Vegas, finding work as a security guard and caravan scout along the highways. While he might have preferred rejoining his old unit, Boone couldn't bring himself to abandon the city where he'd met his wife. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes.